Welcome to the three minute two ball workout brought to you by superhandles.com. This is also known as the two ball challenge. As you go through this workout, I want you to count your successful reps. If you score high enough, you'll have the chance to win a special prize. You can find out more at the end of this video. This isn't for show, it's not a circus. This is all to get better for an actual game. We're going to start off with a basic two ball dribbling drill, then we're gradually going to progress, and then we're going to end with some moving drills, all in three minutes. Let's make it come together like a hand clap. Let's go. In addition to the actual workout time, I'll be giving you explanations for each drill as well as guidelines that need to be followed for your reps to be legitimate. Once you learn what all the drills are, go ahead and do this workout with me. We're starting off with two balls sent. Your eyes need to be closed for this drill, and the tops of the basketballs need to come up to approximately knee level on each dribble. You're going for 15 seconds here. Ready, set, go. Stop. Now you can either write your reps down or just keep a running tally in your head. The next drill we're doing is two ball switches. Now in this drill, when you're performing the between the legs dribble, your fingers on both hands should be below your knees. 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. One rep is counted for each successful between the legs dribble. If your hands are high, your reps don't count. Low hands will minimize your margin for error and put you in a position that will maximize your explosiveness. Stop. The next drill is windshield wipers through the legs. Your eyes need to be closed while doing this drill. One repetition is counted for each successful pull dribble through the legs. You're going for 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. Stop. The next drill you're doing is two ball high low through the hole. In this drill, the low basketball should be bounced no higher than approximately three inches off the floor. One repetition is counted for each successful dribble under your opposite arm. You're going to do this drill for 15 seconds with each hand and your eyes need to be closed. Ready, set, go. This is basically an inside out dribble around your opposite arm. Stop. Now switch hands. Ready, set, go. Stop. The last stationary drill we have here is circle V opposites with the crossover behind the back combination. You need to stay stationary for this drill. If you have to jump forward to cross the balls behind your back, your reps don't count. If you need to take dribbles in between your crossover and behind the back, that's okay. Just be sure to keep your feet planted to the floor. You're going for 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. If you ever mess up, just repeat the part of the drill that you messed up at and keep going. Stop. You're now halfway done. You have a minute and a half of two ball moving drills to go, and you're going to be doing a drill called lane isolations. The width of the lane is 12 feet, so if you're not at a basketball court with lines on the floor, you can measure it out. You need to perform the specified move at the halfway mark. This means that you don't do the move at the beginning or at the end. Make sure to do it halfway. And when you go to turn around, make sure that both of your feet go past the line. If you ever mess up, be certain to go back and do that rep over again. You're going to be performing three different moves for 30 seconds each. The first of which is the between the legs dribble. Make sure to get both of your hands below your knees while performing this move. Ready, set, go. You need to do this move to your right and your left. So alternate your direction on each rep. Keep your eyes up and sprint. Eyes 
stop. Now you've got the V behind the back dribble. There are two ways to dribble the basketball behind your back. There's the wrap and the V. We're going to do the V for this drill. If you do a wrap, it doesn't count. If you have to look for the basketball while performing this move, your rep doesn't count. So keep your eyes up and your hands below your butt. Ready, set, go. Be sure to alternate your direction on each rep. Hands low, eyes up. Your feet need to be spread during the V behind the back. If they're close together, that rep doesn't count. Sit down like you're in a chair. Stop. The last drill you're doing for this workout is lane isolations with the triple behind the back dribble. Be certain to do three V's. You're not ending with a wrap, you're ending with a V. And if you have to look at the basketball while dribbling behind your back, your rep doesn't count. Ready, set, go. The three V's need to be done consecutively or the rep doesn't count. Be sure to alternate your direction on each rep. Remember, keep your hands low, keep your eyes up. Spread your feet and be athletic while you're dribbling behind your back. Pound the dribble. Make the ground shake like an earthquake. Sprint. Stop. Now go ahead and write down your successful reps for this workout. Our question for you is, how many reps did you do?